Hey everyone, uh, Jeremy IPTTM here, and um, it's a beautiful day down here in uh, South Texas. Uh, high, we're going to be looking about 62, completely sunny, nice little crisp in the air. It's not super cold anymore, but it's a great day. And uh, I want to show off my Fernando Tatis Jr. collection. Um, not not actively PCM. him. I, I do enjoy him watching him play we had him in San Antonio for about a full season between 17 and 18 and I got to see a lot of them um, so let me just get started here and um, show off what I got the first piece is the first one I got this is a game used jersey from um, the tail end of 2017 and he came up with the missions um, the last for the last 14 games of 2018 and this is the jersey that they wore on Wednesdays for military appreciation day and it's signed on the front and I won this at an auction uh, the following season he switched to number 23 um, but this is his one of his first double A jerseys. Okay, next up, I had the opportunity to graph him. Sorry about the camera work, it's terrible. An opportunity to graph him over that year, and it wasn't easy, but I was able to get these cards signed by him for Nano Test, uh, the uh, Fort Wayne 10 caps. That's his first minor league Padres card. I'm not sure if he has a minor league White Sox card or not. The uh, Padres paper. Another paper. I typically don't do a lot of the chrome because they scratch up in the autograph book. So I like to, and you don't have to prep them. Um, there's the Heritage Minor Leagues and first Bowman chrome. Like I said, I typically don't do a lot of the chrome just because you have to prep them and they still kind of scratch up when they're in the autograph book. And then also um, a Fisher official Major League Baseball. Um, so there's that. And recently here I've been picking up some of his rookies. And you see the stack right there. I have the uh, the tops living. All these are PSA 10. And I've got some of these out in a PSA order already. Um, but having multiples definitely doesn't hurt. Uh, the 2019 Top Series 2. The Finest. Which I think was his first one that was released. The Topps Chrome. This is a short print. And if y'all remember, slightly smaller size um, than the what it should be. The Allen and Ginter. And finally the um, Heritage High Number. One other thing that I have on him is a game used oh, and I'm gonna have to turn it mess with the camera here a game used um, bat of his Savictus and Missions actually put this on sale in the team store. Um, kind of surprised him when I, I asked him to sign it. And you can see he, he personalized it to Jeremy and then signed over it a little bit there. Just um, kind of tried to keep me from selling it, which of course I wouldn't do. Um, but game model Fernando Tatis game used bat 
Yeah, I think this one died a hero, if I remember correctly. So, there's that. And I think it's a pretty fun little, little collection. It's nice having minor league guys that come through with your team and end up being stars. Like we had Tatis um, last year. The year before that, we had Luis Urias, who really hasn't done anything in the majors. Um, but if he cuts down on his um, leg kick, I think he's got the hands to be a really good hitter. But I think he's going for more power right now, and it's hurting him. But guys like this, um, Keston Hira, we had first half of this year. And he's, he's really going to be a good player. I think with the Brewers and that's it that's the that's the Fernando Tatis collection let me know what you think later